Hi, it's Ed Osborne from Top40Weekly.com, and this is Music Through the Years, where I'll be covering some of the top songs and artists of each year. By 1971, the disappearance from the Top 40 of most of the rock acts that had driven contemporary music in the mid to late 1960s left a vacuum which was filled by softer sounds. Popular music also continued to splinter into numerous subgenres, including bubblegum, singer-songwriter, and adult contemporary pop. Bubblegum built upon the foundation laid down by the Ohio Express, 1910 Fruit Gum Company, and the Archies, with One Bad Apple by the Osmonds reaching number one. The family band released two more hits in 71, and member Donnie had two on his own. The fictitious Partridge family band landed two 45s in the top 10, and lead singer David Cassidy went gold with Cherish. While bubblegum played itself out rather quickly, the singer-songwriter and soft pop rock genres grew as the decade rolled on. Key singer-songwriters were Elton John, Van Morrison, Gordon Lightfoot, Cat Stevens, Carole King, Carly Simon, James Taylor, and John Denver. Soft adult contemporary style pop's leading proponents in 1971 were Bread, the Bee Gees, and the Carpenters. Soul and R&B, rock, country, and top 40 pop also enjoyed success. The most notable event on the soul side was Marvin Gaye's triumphant What's Going On album, which spun off three smash 45s. Joining Gaye in the pop top 10 was Isaac Hayes and the theme from Shaft, from the first movie to feature a strong black hero. In country, mainstream America discovered Chris Christopherson, who wrote Me and Bobby McGee and helped me make it through the night. The biggest rock top 40 pop act for 1971 was Three Dog Night, and Creedence Clearwater Revival wrapped up its career with two final million-selling singles. One casualty of the trend towards soft was rock and roll, which accounted for only two number one records, Brown Sugar and Maggie May. Overall in 1971, Top 40 fans preferred soothing rather than exciting music. If there were any doubt that the 60s were truly over, on July 3rd, Jim Morrison of The Doors died at age 27. I hope you enjoyed this presentation of Top 40 Weekly's Music Through the Years. The hits will keep on coming, so keep on visiting top40weekly.com for the biggest online U.S. Top 40 music archive available with detailed information on various artists and their hit songs. Thanks for viewing.